The worked example effect of the cognitive load theory is when a lesson is approached with completed examples to help the students better understand the concepts and apply them to solve a similar problem. Worked examples promote the acquisition of knowledge and skills needed to identify problems as being of a particular type, recall the steps in sequence needed to solve each particular type, and perform each step without error. This process reduces ineffective load imposed by the use of weak problem-solving strategies and fosters learning by allowing students to devote available capacity to studying the solution procedure. This effect of the cognitive learning theory seeks to expose students to the processes needed to solve problems to ensure that they're familiar with them so that distraction and anxiety when approached with the same situation later. I see this tactic used frequently in the department I work for. Courses are often designed with templates and samples to offer guidance to students to successfully meet the requirements to obtain direction for the final product. Courses have been paired with technology such as Camtasia and LiveScribe to provide screen share capabilities through which the students can see mouse, keypad, and pen strokes used to solve problems as they would in real time. Additionally, the format of the learning modules and grading rubrics are consistent throughout all course developments to minimize the student's confusion. Though the content may be different from class to class, once the students have completed their first class, they have the standard to follow to complete the rest of the classes needed for their specific degree program successfully.